Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading from the 6th to the 12th of May 2019 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you are Libra. So we have five cards and they have been clarified by a separate Rider Waite tarot deck. The energies for me as a reader just work really well together. So we have the Wheel of Fortune in the past position, Seven of Pentacles in the present position, Justice, in the challenges should you have any the ace of pentacles is the advice from tarot and judgment is the outcome so quite profound libra i've also pulled an angel oracle card and a spirit message card for further clarification so let's start with the wheel of fortune and the tower energy so some of you have been aligned to your destiny. I can see that because at the beginning of this reading, you have the Wheel of Fortune. At the end of this reading, you have Judgment. These two cards together represent destiny. And the Tower card is where the universe, it's, quite a, it's a kind of a card of, card of Mars. The universe strikes your tower, your beliefs, your systems, your solidity, your foundations could be in all aspects of your life, your home, career, your money, your love. And it comes crumbling down. What you thought was solid, what you thought was stable, has been raised to the ground. Your world has been turned upside down. Now, some of you could have been through this situation. And it is where the universe is doing this long term. It's a welcome change. It brings about change and disruption. But it's a welcome change long term because it's aligning you to your true path, aligning you to your destiny. Now, what I'm also seeing here is justice. Your card, Libra, is in this reading. So that makes it even more clear to me that there's something very much about you being aligned to your destiny this week, or a few days on the side of this week, because it is all about divine timing. Things happen when they're meant to. So from the Tower Energy, the Wheel of Fortune is saying there's progress, there's change, there's happy progress. Well, that might well, you might well have found things starting to move, starting to progress in the past. It says the Wheel, wheel of Fortune's on your side. It was always meant to be this way because it was always about divine timing, divine orchestration. Something didn't fit you. You see the square tower, the round crown... Something didn't fit you in the past and you needed to move forward in order to find something that fits you more perfectly. Find firmer foundations, things that suit you in whatever aspect of your life, or it could be across your life. And though you've been challenged, you have divine guidance on your side. Remember that. So really powerful messages there to open the reading. The present... So we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Two of Cups can be about soulmate partnerships. It might well be something to do with a love situation or a situation to do with love or a loved one. Is not progressing fast enough. Now this can also be about partnerships. This can be about giving and receiving. This can be exchanges of emotional support potentially as well. And maybe you've needed to encounter some frustrating challenges. This could be where you've been working hard to fuel growth, to, fu to fuel <clears throat> expansion in your life, maybe to make more money. And it's just not happened quite fast enough for you, Libra. <coughs> So it is about almost kind of like having that self-love, finding that balance again. This is a two, finding balances, making loving choices as well. To propel you forward, again, somebody might be giving you emotional support through a time of frustration. A time of things taking too long to manifest in your life, too long to move on. <coughs> But yeah, you're getting there, definitely. It's a seven, you're getting there. And it's to acknowledge that really as well. There is growth. You can also talk about the beginnings of the progression of solid relationships. 
the progression of, of love in your life, if you've got a loved one, that might be growing, expanding into something more solid. Maybe it's been a long time coming, but maybe you're going in the right direction now. So yeah, beautiful. Challenges. We have justice, you know, now justice, your ch I said your challenge might well be that the outcome of a justice could have been challenging, difficult to accept. This can involve legal proceedings, government, situate government departments. It also might be that you are struggling to, or you might be judging others. You might be judging others or judging yourself. How you view yourself, how you judge other people may well be having repercussions on your challenges. Yeah. So this can well be if you're, if you're being challenged, if you've been mistreated, it might well be that it's throwing you out of balance in how you're viewing other people with situations. Some of you are wanting justice most definitely, either karmic justice or justice with legal systems. And the Queen of Swords says that the truth will come out. She gets to the real truth of the matter. She's very perceptive. She cuts out all the emotional baggage, the emotional difficulties that you can have with a situation and gets to the truth, the very heart of the matter. She also sees things very clearly. So if you've been struggling to see clearly past people's actions towards you or your actions towards them or a mixture of both, It is where you're getting clarity. It's where you're seeing truths and you're understanding how to act and make decisions accordingly, Libra. But it's really important to get that clear head and that could be a challenge as well. If there are things going on where you might have been mistreated or you feel you've been in ill done to, whether it's in love, whether it's in business, whether it's in money, this is where you need to see the truth of the situation. You need to be perceptive enough to deal with the truth and all its consequences. So it takes some kind of like power, some kind of courage as well in that respect. It can also be a moral truth as well. You know, moral truths, things that just aren't done, things that just aren't acceptable. There could be barriers to you moving forward. So maybe there are some blocks that you just need to cut through to the heart of the matter, definitely. But there is going to be progression. Again, this links to divine energy. This is Mercury and Sagittarius. So communication, ideas, visions, almost morphing into tangible opportunities, events for you, progression, most definitely. You have the opportunity to progress from this situation by taking action in your own life. There may also be opportunities to progress or move on from this situation. It might well be um, either a karmic justice, wrongs needing to be righted have held you back. You know, maybe mentally you've just been held back from progressing, from getting over uh, a process that's happened to you in the past. And now it says it's time to move on from that situation and to let it go, Libra. Because there's good opportunities waiting for you, real opportunities for advancement, to move forward, to fuel growth. Yeah. Now, advice from Tarot. We have strength and the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles can be an offer. It asks, it, it's an offer of being more solid, more stable, first and foremost as well. It can be an offer of, it can be a, an offer to do with money, so jobs, careers, advancement in that respect, bringing about a new beginning, finding that open door to new horizons, most definitely. Letting go of the past can be a card of good news as well, so anything to do with this kind of like justice or karmic justice, earthly justice, things going in your favour, moving on from that, putting it behind you, valuing yourself as well, finding real value in yourself, your situation, 
just feeling in a more solid place, I think. And it's allowing you to let that in. So that's the advice is, this is divine guidance. You're being divinely guided. Set it to your destiny. This is a real card of destiny. So don't let people's actions of the past, their conduct, cloud you from seeing truths, from seeing your path. That's what the Queen of Swords was all about. Seeing your path forward to new horizons, to new successes. The beginnings of something new that proves to be really beautiful. I mean, this can link to material success. Material abundance, financial abundance. More solid ground as well. So beautiful energies. You need to conquer that mind of yours. And that's why the king of... That's, sorry, that's why the queen of swords appeared. She is clarity of mind here. She is clarity of mind. And this lion is the mind. And, or our thoughts, can be our thoughts. This lion is our thoughts. And this maiden is you. And this is about getting mastery over one's thoughts. Now, if you can imagine how powerful that is, I mean, you can see how powerful it is because there's a butterfly on her throne. If you get clarity of mind, if you don't allow emotions to cloud your judgment and hold you back, you bring in that new beginning. You, begin that, you bring in that fresh new start. You bring in something that's far more bountiful in your life. And you also find value in yourself, something more valuable, more special to you. This is conquering your demons. This is having the courage to move on. This is finding your natural power as well. It's also dealing with people who may well be holding you back. So yeah, dealing with those people, those um, people that represent the lion, challenging you, challenge your, challenging you from progression and moving on. And, and you're more than capable of dealing with this situation. You're strong enough. Yeah. And the final outcome, I mean, this is it. Finding your natural power. It's been a process of awakening again, aligning to your destiny, moving on, waking up. This is the awakening of the souls of the dead. Waking up to the light, stepping into your own light, shining in your own light. This is an earthly card of success. This is an earthly card of achievement. The King of Wands is fire energy. Taking action in your own life, being an opportunist, grabbing hold of the opportunities that are presenting themselves to you. You see? Switching on to opportunities now to progress, to move on. Knowing that you see these sprouting leaves that go on the wand. Real opportunity for growth. Real opportunity for long-term success. Real opportunity to take the leadership in your own life and not be dictated by other people. And this is all divinely guided. You're meant for more than this and it's time for you to recognise your own power. It's time that you recognise your own skills. You know, this seven of pentacles where you're questioning your own value. Can I do it? It's a card of forgiveness where you can forgive, maybe for this to do with this justice situation. But also to let go of old baggage, old baggage and move forward, Libra. Because that future, I mean, you've got the Ace of Pentacles here, the beginnings of something new here. And look at this. I mean, this is a card of success, of achievement with the King of Wands. Somebody who takes action in his own life. Somebody who shapes his own life to suit him. Not waiting on other people. So it's about being switched on now. Most definitely. Yeah, and just grabbing hold of that wand of power, your sense of own, your own power, the sense of your own capability to shape your life, sense of your own creativity, your own passions, your desires, what you want in life, what makes you happy. This is all divinely guided, Libra. So the angel oracle card, the first one is, spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Beautiful. And the... The two popped out, so the second one is Archangel Sandalphon. This is gentleness. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations and environments. And it might well be that you want to move away from this kind of environment that's been challenging 
and bring in your own new beginning now. Because Tara says it's time. It's time to let go of the past. It's time to focus on the future. And the message from Spirit is be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are and all that you will become. Every once in a while it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. Isn't that beautiful? This is real destiny at play. This is real divine guidance. This is overcoming obstacles. Absolutely. To bring in that new fresh start for you. And it promises to be really successful. This is real success. This is you having that power over your own life. You making the decisions in your own life. You having that sense of self, that self-confidence, that belief in your own actions. So it's a beautiful energy, Libra. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a great week and I will see you next time. Thank you.